Catherine Thomas. Welcome to Kingdom View. You know, the world has its view, but God has his view. We're worshipers, interceding for excellence. Welcome to Kingdom View. I'm Apostle Catherine Thomas. And my co-hosts today are Evangelist Gloria Smith, Hi. Prophetess Rosalind Ash. Praise the Lord. And we have a guest with us today, and her name is Elder Rosie Moy. And she is um, with uh, Faithful Few Baptist Church. So how are you doing, Elder Moy? I'm doing great. All right, then. Well, we're so glad to have you with us today. Yeah, it's good to be yeah. here. Praise good God. to be here. And again, we want to thank you for tuning in today. We are going to be discussing uh, women in leadership roles. Women in leadership roles. Now, I know that even today in the 21st century, there are still some who say that women should not be in leadership roles in the church, especially preaching and teaching. And, well, any really uh, significant leadership role, bishop, apostle. But you know what? Guess what? That spell is broken. Yes, it Amen. Right. Amen. That Amen. spell Amen. is broken. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Amen. Jesus. <laughs> I remember when I became an elder, I was ordained several years ago. What, about, maybe about, I think it was about, 25, 30 years ago, and I remember a minister telling me one day, he said, don't worry, he said, that spell is going to be broken, All right. and that's why I use it that way, and so we just thank God, in other words, when I say the spell is broken, we're going to do what God says. And we're going to be who God has called us to be. Amen. 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 So if you're watching today and you have been called into a leadership position in the church, you need to do what God has asked you to do. And that's what it's about. You can't let other people discourage you. And as I said today, even in the 21st century, it's still happening. But just do, like Mary told um, them when they wanted Jesus to make the wine. And, and Mary told him, she said, just do whatever he tells you to do. That's right. Mary. And so that's what I'm saying, and we're saying that to you if you're watching today. Just do what God has called you to do. So we want to talk about, um, I'm just going to start out reading just a little bit that I have in my notes here. And it says, in many churches in the United States, Christian men have developed a superstitious notion that if they listen to a woman preach, or if they attend a Sunday school class taught by a woman, or even if they allow a woman to provide any form of spiritual counseling to them directly, they are violating an unwritten law that forbids women from occupying a place of authority in their lives. They also fear that if they do this, they will come under some type of spell that leaves them deceived and spiritually weakened. This is rooted in a fear that if a man submits to a, wo a woman, even by listening to her counsel, his own maleness will be diminished. How foolish! Let me hear everybody say, how foolish! How foolish! If the Bible is our guide and not cultural bias, then we need to consider the many times in scripture when women influenced men or exercised godly authority over them. Amen. 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 All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm sure we have all um, had some kind of experience, you know, in, in a negative way. But um, I'm going to start with you on this end, Evangelist. Just want to know, how, how did you <laughs> overcome that? Well... I overcame it by realizing that God designed me to do, and it called me and not man. Amen. And when I realized that I had to obey God, right. then I began to realize and submit to the will of God that whatever persecution came with that, mm -hmm. to fulfill my destiny and my purpose that God had called me to do, right. I let go of everything and everybody mm -hmm. that, did, that didn't want me to go forth. And there was many times when I would get up to minister 
and then um, I would get rebuked after that. Mm -hmm. wow. I thought I would get some love, but instead I got some rebuke. Wow. But nevertheless, I love, you know, it was a teaching way for me. Right. And I thank God. But that's, those are the things that come with it. But you have to be in a place that you're ready to deal with whatever you got to deal with. Amen. And submit Amen. to God anyway. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. What about your prophets, Ash? Well, I was in a, a place where they don't recognize, they wasn't recognizing women. But when I bought a word forth, they turned the word around the wrong way. Two weeks later, the word came again. Mm -hmm. okay. And all they could do was drop their head. <laughs> See, God works it out. We just yeah. have to be patient with him. Yes. Yes. Because we are leaders, and he will use us to move forth. Mm -hmm. And I always say, oh, if you don't need me over here, mm -hmm. there's more room over here. Mm -hmm. All right. The gift Amen. will make room for Amen. 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 And Elder Moy, I know that you are a gospel singer, and I've had an opportunity to watch several of your uh, videos on YouTube. Amen. And uh, really, really uh, beautiful yeah. uh, mm -hmm. videos. Yes. So um, for our, list, our audience that's watching us today, how, where can they find you on YouTube? Uh, on Rosie Marie Moy. Dot YouTube, uh, Mama said, Mama song. All right, and all of her videos, she starts out with Mama said, yes, and then she follows it with a song. Amen. And I think Amen. that is really such a blessing, Amen. so creative, you know, because all of our mothers have told yeah. us things, you know, but for her to just uh, incorporate that into a, a video series that she does, and it's beautiful. So Amen. we encourage you to watch, and we're gonna have her, um, her. Um, YouTube address on the screen, so you'll be able to see it on the screen. It'll be at the bottom of the Amen. screen. Okay, so I want to say this. Um, in Judges 4, it tells us that at one time in history, a woman held the highest position of spiritual authority in Israel. The Bible clearly states that God anointed Deborah as judge of Israel, gave her wisdom, and prophetic counsel and granted a 40 year period of peace as a result of her effective leadership. And the men who honored her authority were blessed. We read in Judges 4 8 that Barak, Israel's chief military commander, refused to go into battle without Deborah after she unveiled the Lord's strategy to defeat the Canaanites. And it was not an omission of fear on Barak's part when he asked Deborah to accom accompany him into the fray. He was not a mama's boy who felt unsure and insecure about his masculinity. On the contrary, because that's what I have been taught. You know, and religion had taught me that Barack was, you know, he was weak, you know, a, a weakling, you know, and so mm -hmm. Deborah had, and yeah. see, that's the thing we want to tear down. Exactly. Because that, that wasn't true then, and it's not true today. Women are not stepping up because um, of the men not stepping up. Men are doing what God told them to do, mm -hmm. and we just want to do what God has called that's us right. to do. Yeah, Amen. Right. Amen. But we're not male bashers, and we don't want to put down the men. And right. I think Barack, he got kind of like, got kind of, I think a little male bashed in yeah. religion. Would you yeah. all agree? I agree. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know today that that wasn't so because on the contrary, Barack, he recognized that Deborah was an anointed servant of God and that the mantle of heaven's authority rested on her. Because she had the plan of victory he wanted to stay close to her. He simply refused to fight without the Lord's prophet by his side. Well, amen. amen. We need to give some praise. Yeah. Amen. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, some, even into today, you know, if we could, that's being a man right there. That's being, mm -hmm. that's a real man. He said, yes. well, I, I don't care what gender she is. That's right. I know that she is God's prophet. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to go ahead unless she's by 
by my side. All right. Amen. Amen. How many men have missed out on today, you know, mm -hmm. in this, this era, in this dispensation, even within a dispensation of grace, how many men have still missed out because they didn't want the woman to do it? Amen. 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 Aren't you glad that spell is over? Yeah. It's broken. Yeah. It's yeah. destroyed. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. If we can go oh, yeah. forth. Oh, yeah. Hey, glory. Amen. We need some more Baracks today. Amen. Amen. Lord, send us some more Baracks. Yes. Because yeah. a, a yes. rock will realize that, well, we had one that was in office. That's you know? right. We're That's not talking right. about that Barack. You know? <laughs> about the Barack in the Bible. Right. Let me make that clear now. Amen. We're talking about the biblical Barack. Amen. And a man that operates the way that Barack did in that day, would, would, God can really use him. Yeah. Because God can really use you when you take your eyes off the vessel that God is using. If That's he sends right. a woman to help you, use the woman. Amen. If he sends a man to help you, use the man. That's right. Amen. Amen. But we're talking about women in leadership roles. And so in today's church, we need an army of Baracks who are so desperate to hear the word of the Lord that they are willing to humble themselves and receive it from whomever God chooses to speak through. Even if that prophet is a woman. That's right, man. Men need to swallow their male pride and haughty I know better than you, dear, attitudes. <laughs> Amen. If you are truly walking in spiritual brokenness, you will not care whether the Holy Spirit speaks to a man or a woman, a child or a donkey or a rooster. <laughs> you will simply want God. And you simply want to just place no stop in the imperfect clay vessel that God chooses. Amen. 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 All right then. Yeah. So once again, we want to talk about how we don't want to just continue to go over how the negative, but we want to bring forth some of the, the positive things that God is using us to do as women in leadership roles. And I'm um, my prayer is that there are some younger women that are watching us today because in the book of Titus, uh, the second chapter, the second and third verse, it talks about let the older woman, mm -hmm. women, teach the younger women. Right. Amen. 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 But you know, today, that's a problem in some, you know, in some instances because mm -hmm. as the older women, some older women, because you still want to be the younger women. I know. <laughs> you don't want to tell teach them. the younger women. Amen. But you know, we, we all, age is just a number. Yes. Age is just a number. Right. Amen. But so we don't have to worry about um, the, the number. We don't have to worry about, we're going, we're going to get older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as women of God, of course, we want to continue to look good, but we want to use what God has placed in us to pass on to the younger women. That's, That's right. what it's talking about in the book of Titus. Amen? Yes. yes. Amen. So, once again, I'm going to start over here with you, Evangelist, and just well, give us just briefly a few things that God is doing to uh, using you in leadership right now. Le using me in leadership? Uh-huh. Okay, leadership. well, um, just recently, I just came back from a trip, and... Um, to my home in Ohio. And I thank God that he sent me there because um, I was blessed to deal with the third generation Amen. of um, children uh, of my God sisters. Mm -hmm. And so uh, immediately the Lord began to deal with me that that was one of my assignments while I was there. Okay. I was to sow the word of God into them mm -hmm. while I was there. and. Um, we had, we had Sunday school, Saturday school. The mother came in and she said, 
Well, um, I said, we have a Sunday school. She said, well, today's Saturday. I said, well, whatever day it is, it's Sunday, Saturday, Jesus on the wall. Amen. I said, Amen. So we need, Amen. I said but we're going to do what we got to do for that's the right. Right. Wow. So that's one of the places where God has dealt with me, what is with the children well, that's and good. leadership. That's because, good. as and like you said, Pastor, the, the older women, we must teach. Yes. We must go back and teach the mothers and the daughters and the grandchildren. And That's right. Amen. We have to. Amen. So let's not be so selfish and concerned with our own self or self-absorbed that we just avoid the generation, mm -hmm. the younger yes. women that are, are coming up right now. We, we need to be there for them. What is God, um, what leadership role are you in now? As far as in the, in the king leadership in the role, king, in the kitchen, what are you doing I right am now? With the assistant God's pastor, mm -hmm. I assist my pastor with anything that she needs to have done, anything that's going on in the church. I also prophesy because I am a prophetess to the, those that are in need. I do a lot of prophesying when I'm outside of the church mm -hmm. because there is needed. when I walk in areas. There are people there hurting that need a word from the Lord. Amen. And I just walk up to them and show some more love. Yeah. Amen. And that's just me. Amen. Because when you have a heart for people, mm -hmm. and you might not, they might not look like you got a heart for people. Amen. But I do. Amen. And Amen. I will stand in that gap yeah. if it's called to be. Yeah. So that God can use this vessel. To speak a word. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. I'm one of God's servants anywhere that I'm needed. Amen. 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 If it's in the kitchen, All right, if it's in the pulpit, yeah. All right. if it's on the piano, Come on, yeah, yes. I just wherever he wants to use me. Amen. Because that's one of my daily prayers. Yeah. Use me, Lord, in your service. Amen. 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 Service can be outdoors. He Amen. can be on the inside. Amen. But the thing of it is, is just let him use me. Yes. And when you pray and ask for discernment, yes. he will give it to you. Go yes, ahead. He, will. he will give it to you to where you'll know when to be still mm -hmm. yes. right, to when to speak up. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. And that right there is one of the main things. I just try to spread God's love everywhere I go. Amen. Amen. It's all in the way that your walk your daily walk yes. with him. Uh -huh. Amen. Not just on Sunday. Amen. Amen. Right. But every day. Every, every day. day. Every day. I know that's because right. Because there's nothing but an opportunity when you can just wake up Amen. another day. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Do it. When you wake up and you want to do something for the Lord, yes. be a blessing. That's yeah. right. To someone else. That's right. Yes. If you don't do nothing, but just show up. Amen. You don't have to say anything. Amen. Show up. You better tell. Well, Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. That was awesome. Yes, awesome. it was. Amen. Well, I am, um, as you all, some of you watching already know, but I'm a pastor, a senior pastor of a church. I've been pastoring 14 years uh, and also an apostle. And might I add, not a self proclaimed apostle. Go ahead. Because uh, I'm a God-consecrated apostle. I Amen. Didn't, I, Amen. Didn't, um, mm -hmm. I didn't call myself. But one of my assignments as an apostle is to tear down religion. Mm -hmm. Tear down religion in the kingdom of God because there's still so much religion today. Amen. And one of my assignments Amen. is to um, teach about grace and let everyone know that it's not about performance. You know, we're not under the law. You know, God didn't do away with the law, but he, what he did, the law came with Moses, and Jesus, he fulfilled the law, mm -hmm. and grace and truth came with Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And so now we are under the dispensation of grace. It took me a long while to understand what that actually meant. And for, like I would say, at least half of the time that I was pastoring, I was um, trying to perform to please God and thinking mm -hmm. that was going to get me ahead. And I, and I realized when God finally, finally broke through to me to give me the revelation that I've already done for you what I'm going to do. Amen. Amen. All I need you to do is receive it. Yes. That's right. Okay. Yes. And I know that 
when people hear this, several, you know, a lot of people think that it's giving you a license to sin. But it's not giving you a license to sin. Because we can sin and we want to sin, we're going to sin. We don't That's need right. a license That's to right. sin. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I tell people that all the yes. time. If I want to fornicate, I'll just go fornicate. Mm -hmm. If I whatever I want to do to sin, I'll do it. I'll come back and, you know, people think they're so deep, they can tell whether, it's not whether you can see what I did, it's whether he can see what I did. Amen. 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 I live holy because of God. Yes. Because yes. of my love for him. Yes. And if we can get more women in leadership roles, because I want to let you know, every woman in the leadership role is not living holy. Go ahead. Oh, you better Lord tell help. All Lord right. help. Mm -hmm. Lord help. And, okay. I'm not perfect, but I am living holy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And just being a leader does not make you live holy. No. You have to want to live holy. Amen. Okay. And when you carry yourself as a true woman of God, then that in itself is going to open doors for you. That's right. Amen. That's because right. people will see, and they will see that who you are. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Don't let anybody talk you into compromising. That's exactly. right. Amen. Just, yeah, just wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to close this out with us. Uh, I want to I, I wanna say, where are the Priscilla's? In Acts, in the book of Acts, chapter 18, to, uh, verse 24 through 28. We read that a skilled preacher named Apollos, a zealous convert from Judaism, was teaching the message of Jesus in Ephesus. But because he had never been instructed properly about water baptism or the infilling of the Holy Spirit, Paul's co-workers, Priscilla and Aquila, took him aside and explained it more accurately. Yes. So was Apollos spiritually emasculated? When he submitted to Priscilla's correction? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. His ministry was strengthened because of the helpful input he received from the wise disciple who most likely functioned as an, in an apostolic role as a teacher and a church Go later. Amen. 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 And she is commended by Paul as one of the fellow workers in Romans 16 and Three. Mm -hmm. And in 1 Corinthians 16, 16, the apostle urges his followers to submit to everyone who helps in the work mm -hmm. and labors. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. we just want to thank God for an opportunity to come before you today. We're talking about women in leadership roles. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just Amen. like Priscilla stepped up and Deborah stepped up, God mm -hmm. wants us to step up. That's right. Amen. That's right. And he wants us to just to be the leaders in his kingdom that he has called us to be. And forget about uh, the people mocking you. You know, they mock Jesus Christ. Yes, they do. Amen. So don't worry about that, but do it with joy. And one thing I want to add before we close, too, amen, and I'm going to each one of you all to have a closing comment. But I want to say, women, have joy. It's nothing worse than meeting a woman in a leadership role that's mean and bitter. <laughs> Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Yes. So just have joy. Amen. Yes. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. Amen. So Elder Moore, we want to get um, your final comments before we close out today. I would just like to say that it's it's really very important that we have each other's back. Yes, um, yes. You yes. can treat people and you can love on them because we don't know who needs encouragement. That's right. That's right. And it could be the least one, or it could look, look like the strongest person. But the thing of it is, is everybody needs somebody. That's mm -hmm. right. So if you are called, which I am also an assistant pastor. Amen. Amen. Plus the gospel singing. Mm -hmm. when, you, when there's someone else in the room mm -hmm. that you know that God has blessed you, be a blessing to them. Yes. Because yes. it's very important that we support each other. Yes, right? yes. We are all individuals. Yes. God made us all, but we are not alike. Amen. And we are blessed on different levels. Amen. But the thing of it is, you can't look down on your fellow man. That's right. Because it's very important that we support each other. Amen. Because one day, you're going to need somebody. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Prophet Ash, why don't you look into the camera and tell the, those that are watching? Your final comments for today. Just remember 
always be a giver. You never know by who you're giving to Amen. that will give back to you. Amen. 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 God's not going to leave you out there just to have, just to call you and just have you sit on a bench. All right. But you do what God tells you to do and watch what he does for you. Amen. The more you do it, the more he's going to bless you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Once again, we want to thank you for tuning in. Tune in every Saturday at 6 o'clock. Amen. On the same channel. And remember, we love you. And so until next time, we are the Kingdom View. If you've really been beating yourself up saying, I'm not praying enough, I'm not fasting enough, and you feel like you have to do these things in order to please God, I'm here to tell you, God is loving you no matter what. His grace is sufficient. And Apostle Catherine Thomas wrote a book, and it is entitled, The Struggle is Over, No More Religion. Mm -hmm. If you would like to get a copy of this book, it is free. You can give us a, a call. You can see the number at the bottom of the screen. You can visit our website. And please, get a copy of this book so that you too can be free. Shipper.